There are several different options for patients with heart valve disease. Not all options are right for all patients, and they vary with the type of heart valve disease you have. Your doctors will work with you to determine the best course of treatment based on how severe your symptoms are, as well as your age. The mitral valve is the most commonly repaired heart valve, but the pulmonic and tricuspid valve may also be good candidates for repair procedures. If the heart valve cannot be repaired, it will be replaced. The aortic valve is rarely a good candidate for repair, and in most cases, it will require replacement. Two common treatments for adults with severe aortic stenosis are surgical aortic valve replacement, which requires open heart surgery, and transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, which is a less invasive procedure than open heart surgery. In the past, only patients who were at high risk for complications from surgery were considered for TAVR. However, in August of 2016, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the use of a particular transcatheter valve called the Edwards Sapien 3 in patients who are at intermediate or greater risk for complications from surgery. This means more patients who have aortic valve disease are eligible for the less invasive TAVR procedure. Currently, low-risk aortic valve disease patients are being studied in clinical trials. Throughout your treatment, and particularly after your procedure, it's important that you work closely with your team of specialists to make sure you are getting the proper diet, exercise, and medication. Remember that regular checkups are important, and you should always contact your doctor if you have unusual bleeding, pain, or other discomfort.